Now let's take a look at how to post a new thread on a board. I'm looking at the uh, home page of the football board and I want to start a brand new topic. So I go over here and I click post new thread. When you click that it posts an area where you can enter in a title or subject line of your post and then uh, the body of what you're going to post. So let's start out with a subject line of this is a new a new post put up by Will Stewart for training. Now under our old board system you could just put in a subject line, click submit, and you didn't have to do anything else. Now on this system you have to come down into this message area and also type in at least a couple of characters. We've got the threshold set to two. This is how you do it. Now once you're done typing in a subject line and a, and a message, you come in down over here, submit new thread or preview post. If I click submit new thread, it'll post it to the board right away. But let me demonstrate to you what preview does. This gives you a chance to look at your post, see if it's correct, and do any edits before you post it. Here's my preview. This is a new post put up by Will Stewart for training. That's a subject line, and here's the body. Let's say I wanted to add more to that. Put my cursor down here, hit enter a couple of times and say, now I'm using the preview function. So let's go ahead and submit that new thread. Now here's another difference between our new boards and our old boards. On our old boards, if you submitted a message, it took you back out to the index page of the board. These boards show you the post that you just posted, so you can take a quick look at it. And if you want to see it out on the board, go to the home page of the football board. And here are the four sticky posts at the top, and here's the post that I just put up. Now let's talk about how you respond to a post that's down inside an existing thread. Here I am on the basketball board. I'm going to scroll down and select a thread. And I'm going to click on the posts that are inside this thread. And here's a post that I want to reply to by Cush13. There are two ways I can do that. I can just type in a, a reply here in the quick reply box. And I can click post quick reply, which would immediately post my response into that thread. A better way to do it, though, is to use this reply with quote function here. So let me delete what I've got here and let me show you how reply with quote works. When you click that, it preloads what looks like some computer code and notice it starts with a quote bracket and ends with a quote bracket. And it mentions that uh, this is Cush13 that you're responding to. So you put your cursor down outside the uh, quote boxes and you start typing in your message. I agree I think the ACC will get more than three teams in. Click post quick reply. Now notice what it's done here. Here's the body of the message that I posted in, but it also quotes Cush13's original post here. That way everybody knows who I'm talking to and what I'm responding to. The V bulletin boards have a lot of different ways you can look at them. Well, not a lot. They basically have two. And the other format is called linear format that we'll teach you about in a separate video. If you're working in threaded format, it really helps the linear format users figure out what you're doing if you use reply with quote because that way they know exactly who you're talking to.